All right, I want to welcome everybody to the Wobble and Wait 84 Lumber Theater. We are joined by Will Haas Records, Runaway June. Ladies, thanks for coming. Thanks Thank for you. having us. I'm going to turn a little bit here. There we go. <laughs> now, I have to confess something right off the bat. I had a chance to see you in Nashville this past fall at Indie Palooza. Oh, cool. And it was hosted by that guy from, like, Cresley's Nose Best <laughs> yeah. or whatever. Yeah. A little weird to begin with, but you can't understand the man. And I thought he said your name was one, Runaway Jane. Uh, I think he did. He did. Actually, did he really he say it? So he I wasn't wrong? Yeah, I, oh. I think he did. Yeah. He well. didn't know her name at all, actually. And then he, someone said, That's not good for a guess. host. No. Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> and so I'm up there watching you guys. And now, granted, there was the reception prior to and stuff like that. So I had a few cocktails. And I'm sitting there. And you guys are blowing me away. I was awesome, your, your, your presence oh, on stage. Yeah. So I tweet out a photo of it. And I mention it. And I mention Runaway Jane. I'm looking for oh, you everywhere no. on Twitter, can't find you. So oh whoever's in charge of your Twitter account, though, does a great job of hunting you down because you retweeted it and you favored it. And then I realized quickly my mistake, and I'm like, oh, hopefully they think it was just a typo. <laughs> yeah. Like I hit the, the A instead of the, the N. But I'm glad that I now know the correct uh, name. And, uh, you know, I'm looking forward, to, and I think everybody here is going to look forward to seeing what I got to see. So let's go through this. We have Jennifer, <clears throat> Naomi. And H Hannah, yeah. and I made sure I said that correct, right? Did I say it correct? <laughs> Naomi. Naomi. See, yeah. I knew I was going to mess it up. Just think Naomi Judd. And but see, up it. here in the north, we say things weird. So that's why it's <laughs> Naomi over here. But Naomi, all right. And, you know, there's the elephant in the room. You have a grandfather that everybody knows. Yes. At least knows because he's all over TV just about every moment you can see a movie of his. I'll let you break the news. <laughs> uh, well, my grandpa is John Wayne. So, um, I think it's cool, but I'm biased. But you never got a chance to meet the man. No, I didn't. He, he died a few years before I was born, but my grandma's still alive, so mm -hmm. I get lots of stories. I'm sure. I, I, I can imagine what those stories are like. They're fun, yeah. actually. I've heard some that are, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that are really good. Well, we won't have you get into any of that. But, so, what brought you ladies together? Because you all had something else going on. You were a record rep at one time and part of a different group. Yes. And you guys were all writers and stuff. So how did mm -hmm. this all come about? All kind That's really kind of how we came about. Because we all are writers. And um, Benny, the head of our label, mm -hmm. he was kind of working with me a little bit. And he had seen Naomi play a showcase. And he loved her voice. And he was like, you girls should get together and, and write and see what happens. And Hannah and I have known each other for five years and we were already writing. Okay. So we all got together and, and got in a writing room and started writing and it was really, um, we have this chemistry that you can't, I mean, it's just there. Mm -hmm. And I've been writing for 10 years, I've never had that. So um, that's kind of how we Jen all got also, together. Sorry to interrupt you, but Jennifer wrote um, one of my favorite songs of the last year, She Don't Love You by Eric Pasley. Her mm -hmm. and Eric wrote that together, and she was nominated for Song of the Year. Which, Some um, guy, Chris yeah. Stapleton, you know, <laughs> took it away from me uh, and everybody uh, else. <laughs> it, it, I'm not even going to go there. It is what it is. It was a great song nonetheless. I mean, it's oh still, gosh, I mean yes. it says it's great to be nominated, but no, you want to win, right? Yeah. <laughs> we were surprised he didn't win a female vocalist of the year. And yeah. Chris Davis. Yeah. Everything. He won that yeah. It, it yeah. was Lena. the only nomination he, he didn't bad. have. He was yeah. sinking lower and lower every time he won. He's like, I'm <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. So now that you ladies are together, you get your group going, you're out there, you're traveling around the country. What's one thing you've noticed about each other now that you're on the road together? Because there has to be something like which one takes longer to get ready? Which one's always late? I have something. Uh -oh. Oh, gosh. Hannah. Wow, <laughs> right. this is quick. She, she literally wakes up 10 minutes before we're supposed to be it's at true. bus call. She's and like I'm like, how is she going to get ready? There's yeah. no way. Right. And she shows up right on the dot every single time. But it takes her about 10 minutes to get ready. I've perfected the art of getting ready very quickly so that I can just sleep, <laughs> maximize that time. You Anything else you I think it's a skill. It's a it skill. Is a skill. Yeah. It's a skill. I have yeah. to have at least like an hour. Like I have to get up two hours because I like too. to have an hour in the morning. Mm -hmm. Coffee time. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So which one's always late then? You know, we're, we're pretty, actually we're pretty punctual. Yeah. Okay. Give about five minutes-ish. <laughs> But we're pretty, we're, we, we like to be on time. We're professional. Uh, which one's the slob? <laughs> uh, I, I'm pretty messy. Yeah, but I'm I think clean, we all but keep I'm messy it together like, enough. Like you know, 
you know where everything's at. You're like I know chaos, where but at. you know where everything's yeah, at. But, like, but it's in everybody Naomi else's way. Naomi will go around and like start cleaning stuff up. Like I, I had a cookie from one of the hotel rooms. I wanted it that night, and I had it on I want, my which I wanted like, to keep. Ten up. minutes, and it's gone. She threw it away. I'm like, I was gonna eat the cookie. She's like, gone. <laughs> so you're the neat was freak. Was it that, that oatmeal one with the sugar yeah. on top? Yes, I didn't get I'm to eat it. Yeah, those I'm are so good. Freak. Well, I have ten brothers and sisters, and so growing up, there was. I had absolutely no control over like your environment is constantly a wreck. And so when I, when I moved out, I, I, you know, was like, oh my God, I can keep my house clean. You know, so I kind of got the bed. I think all of us kind of keep it together. Like we, we leave a little bit of a trail, but it gets picked up quickly. It's kind of like we, you know what I mean? I don't think it's too bad. We have a lot of stuff though. There you go. All right. Final question. (laughs) Who's somebody you would love to perform with? Whether it be somebody current or somebody that is maybe no longer with us. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Because uh, um, I'm sure it's different for all three of you. Yeah. 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 Perform with, like open for or do a duet. Not like, or like you're on stage with that performer. Allison Krauss. Wow. hundred percent. There you go. Oh that God. was quick. I, I have a couple. I mean, I think just as... As far as just kind of like a highlight would be some like someone like Willie Nelson or something yeah, like that. Oh gosh, but I think yeah. for my childhood self, like Cheryl Crow has been my biggest idol. So just being on the stage with her, I'd be like, I did it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have so many. I can't believe I know. like choosing one feels impossible. But Garth Brooks. Like if we could be on oh, stage yeah. with Garth Brooks, I would just I could die. You'd have to happy. match that energy. Which is a little easier now, but... Yeah, yeah. I mean, I just... He's my hero. Do you think you'd be able to perform if he was on stage with you singing? Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I should choose somebody else. (laughs) Yeah, I might freeze up. Garth is like... So Jen and I randomly met him. Like, when was that? Like, last summer? Mm Mm-hmm. It was the it's weird it's a long story but it was the like it was really random but um he is i have a feeling he would make us feel so comfortable and make us feel like we belong there and like he would be awesome i've mm-hmm. never heard a single bad thing about no. garth brooks he just seems like the nicest guy so. yeah, yeah. That would be that would be a good call jen yeah there you <laughs> go ladies and gentlemen runaway june <laughs> thank you